What's causing the microchip shortage? Recent public health issues have affected the world in many ways. One unexpected way it has affected numerous industries is its contribution to the massive microchip shortage of 2021. Industries such as automotive and consumer electronics have taken a massive dent in terms of production. Why? With more people working from home and staying indoors, there's been an increase in demand for consumer electronics. And this has resulted in an unprecedented demand for computer chips to power all of these electronic devices. This has led to industries dependent on microchip production to have to compete for the limited supply of microchips. There is simply too much demand for new chips. In today's video, we'll be diving deeper into what's really causing this microchip shortage. As technology gets better and becomes more important in our daily lives, so does the demand for consumers to have it integrated into the products they buy. With recent public health issues affecting the world, there have been issues around the production of these especially important microchips. The world has changed and we've seen the workforce transition to working from home. While we also have teachers and students transitioning to online education via video calls and Zoom. This has caused a surge in demand for personal computers and other electronic devices. Top suppliers of microchips, such as AMD and Qualcomm, are doing everything they can to produce more microchips during this shortage. And even Sony says this is why it's so hard to get your hands on a PS5. But the microchip isn't just needed for consumer electronic devices. It's also needed in cars today. Companies like Honda, Ford, and Fiat Chrysler have informed their investors of slowed down production due to the chip shortage. And General Motors have made public announcements that they would have to extend their production cuts in the United States, Canada, and Mexico until further notice. Industry analysts estimate that the shortage could cost the entire car industry $110 billion, almost doubling their previous estimate of about $60 billion. At the same time, a shift to more electronics and smart tech in cars increases the reliance and dependence on microchips to power these features. This means that we have different industries seriously clashing heads in the battle to get the chips they need. The automotive industry will greatly suffer from this cross-industry competition, because in the bigger picture, more phones and other devices are sold and in higher volumes than cars, and at a higher profit margin for chip manufacturers. The result is that semiconductor makers favor consumer electronic devices like phones and computers as opposed to cars. The recent public health crisis caused a massive surge in consumer electronics all of a sudden. People are spending way more time in front of their screens today, and people upgrade their phones way more often than they do their cars. This has led to a massive and sudden demand for consumer electronics that require chips in them. The same went for other electronics, notably PCs, monitors, headphones, and other equipment needed for working remotely or going to school, as well as leisure activities such as video gaming. All kinds of electronic devices were being purchased left and right. Everything from TVs to smartphones to tablets to home entertainment systems and gaming consoles, just to name a few. In fact, the Consumer Tech Association states that 2020 was a milestone year for tech sales. It generated a revenue of a whopping $440 billion in retail sales. And demand for these products won't be going away anytime soon. The problem is that the microchip is a critical component in all these devices, and the chip industry could simply not adjust to the sudden shift of demand in such a short period of time. There are many types of chips beside the central processor, because there are chips used for secondary purposes, like chips for display, power, and other uses. Due to the unprecedented demand for electronic products needed, microchip production simply couldn't keep up. Microchip fabrication is extremely expensive, complex, and requires a lot of industry expertise. So simply building a new factory to adjust to a sudden demand is really just out of the question. It's also prohibitively expensive. The automotive supply chain. On the automotive side of things, the supply chain is also a significant factor in chip shortage. For one, it's always favored getting chips at the best possible price and microchip longevity, in lieu of getting the fastest and most cutting edge chips, because chips in cars do relatively straightforward tasks. This, as opposed to the quality, durability, and processing speed of chips used for other electronic devices like phones and computers. 
This recent chip shortage has put a spotlight on where and how chips are made. In fact, according to a September 2020 report from the Semiconductor Industry Association, in 1990, the US accounted for 37% of the world's chip production, as opposed to today, where the US accounts for just 12% of global production. Chip manufacturing has moved to Asia, where 75% of all chips are produced, and China is expected to be the largest chip producer by 2030. Intel is a great example of this. They're still considered one of the premier chip makers in the world, but are losing ground to companies such as Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company and Samsung. This has led to congressional lawmakers pushing for the Chips for America Act, which will look at funding research and development for more advanced processors, which in turn could draw chip manufacturing back to the United States. Moving forward, it's going to take a lot of time before the shortage is behind us. With automotive and consumer groups brawling over chips, we could see serious changes in the supply chain in order to prevent something like this happening ever again. Whether it be putting a stop to outsourcing chips, or at the very least making sure the United States is the primary chip manufacturer for these tech and car companies, it's going to take a lot of patience from all people involved to solve this shortage. What do you think? Have you been affected by the chip shortage? Which electronic device is most important to you? And if you had to give one up, which would it be? Like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you get notified when we upload a new video. Thanks for watching, we'll see you next time.